What up, you dingus? This is definitely not good. The podcast where we create stories, and they're definitely probably not good. I'm your host, CJ. I'm joined by my producer, Nuckety. Who let the dogs out? And we got a very, very special guest with us today. Artistic. Hey, guys. I'm artistic. Um, I don't. I don't know what dingus means. Can you? Can you like give me what is? What is a dingus? You. I feel like I'm not a. I'm a. I'm artistic. I don't. I don't know what you are artistic. Artistic. But this. This definitely is not good. What is happening right now? Artistic, how are you doing today? I'm well, I'm well. How are you? All right. I'm doing not too bad. I'm a little squishy. Not I'm feeling, too shabby? feeling squishy right now, you know? Got food in my belly. Feeling like, that's what I mean by squishy, you know? Like I could, someone could bounce me like a ball and I would bounce, you know? That's how I'm feeling. I'm glad I got clarification because I didn't know what squishy meant either. Um, can you, I, I'm kind of curious, man. Like, uh, so, so you're artistic. Like, what would you say? Like, how are you? So you like make music. What else do you do? I make music. I shoot videos. I write scripts. Um, I can change a light bulb. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Man, Damn. you didn't tell me that. Yeah. I can, I can definitely, I can change two light bulbs. Damn. Ooh. He's over here dropping bombs. Damn. You think you know a guy. Man. Yeah. That, when I said very, very special guest, I'm putting one more very, 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 very special guest. Artistic. Dude, thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate you, um, you know, taking your time out to be here. Uh, Nuckety, Nuckety's here, I guess, you know. Um, Most of me. Cool. Yeah. Nuckety, how you doing? Huh? All right, moving on. <laughs> um, yeah, so if it's, if, if, oh, wait, we got a, we got a warm up. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do a warm up? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Artistic. Yes. <laughs> uh, in your, um, in your best Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I want you to spell <clears throat> diarrhea. Die. I think that starts with a D. Mm-hmm. D. Man, that sounds just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. R R E A. Not bad. That is excellent. Not, Not bad. I'm I pretty sure. I couldn't have done it better myself. I'm yeah. pretty sure I nailed that. that. I I think you did nail that. Yeah. What do you What do you think, Nuckety? What do you What do you think? Uh, ten out of ten. That's what it was. Nice. See, people tell me I can't. Wait, I'm still talking like him. People tell me I can't spell, and I, do, I, I tell you, them. Are you talking like him? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly how he does it. Thank you so much for that. You feeling warmed up? Oh, yeah, definitely. Excellent. I'm, feeling, I'm still feeling squishy, but I think I'm pretty warm also. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, we're sorry. Um, but Our bad. Um, this is basically how everything works. We are amazing storytellers. <laughs> And we are going to create from the ether a story completely made up right now. The little twist. We got a series of wheels that we're going to spin to help us determine character job, antagonist, yada, yada, yada. All that bullshit. I thought this was a job interview. We're telling a story? Yeah, no, this isn't a job interview. Oh, that's right. I brought you under false pretenses. Uh, Uh, You're on a podcast right now. Right. uh, We're going to make you look silly. So. Yeah, or, you know, create a story that's not going to go anywhere. That's that's going to be the, the the interview part of it. Oh, sounds like my life. This is easy. It's a biography. Ab- absolutely. And 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 we appreciate you being here. You didn't get the job, but you did get the job of making something definitely not good. So congratulations on that. Uh, thank you. And I don't think. be intimidated because it is definitely not good. Before we uh, crunch them wheels, <laughs> you crunch wheels? <laughs> Before we do that, uh, we do have some sponsors that are on wheels. So we're going to spin that and see see who we're sponsored by today. Spin it with you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> sandwiches. This podcast is sponsored by sandwiches. Come on, man. You know you like a good sandwich. Oh, I love a good sandwich. They're so delicious. Mm. You're craving a sandwich right now. You know it. You know it. You know, you stupid asshole. You want a sandwich, don't oh. you? Don't you? You don't know, you? I think, like, artistic, before we began, I know you're you're telling me this testimony about, like, loving sandwiches. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Like, like so, your, yeah. when it comes to sandwiches, uh-huh. like, my absolute favorite part of the sandwiches or when I save the two end slices of the bread. Mm. Wow. You know, like, the end slices of the bread is, like, better than the meat, the cheese, the lettuce, the mayo. Like, honestly, if I put two slices of bread together and there was nothing else in between it, I would still love it. That's a hot take. That's a, that's a 
That's a weird obsession with with sandwiches I have never heard what of before, sir. What do you call the end slices of the bread? Um, n- bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, they're bad. They're they're too much crust. I need to knock. What do you call the end slices of the bread? Dry. Oh, I call them the butt slices. So butt? That's you, like the, why, you like butt? Yeah, that's that's exactly why they're my favorite part of the sandwich. Tistic loves butt. <sighs> Pause. Keep keep it keep it in the in the history books. Artistic loves butts. Facts. You Facts. cannot Flat lie. Butts. <laughs> the butts of the sandwiches. You know, I I'll, dry I'll, butts. I'll, every once in a while, you know, CJ here will, will eat a butt mm. of a sandwich, and it, it doesn't taste too bad. It depends for me what's on the inside. Of the of the yeah, sandwich, that's what's on the inside, that you counts. know, and uh, you know, it depends on the ingredients. But uh, you know, sandwiches are universal, and they're and they're amazing, and I love them. And I wish I was eating a sandwich right now. Now, now, <laughs> now, Kitty, do you like sandwiches? I love sandwiches. What's your favorite sandwich? A PBJ, peanut butter and jelly yeah, sandwich. Because it's like dessert, but nobody thinks of it. Yeah, so people yeah. treat it like it's a meal, but it's it's, it's not. It's a <laughs> it's a dessert food. <laughs> Have you ever had a warm? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Uh, exclusively. Oh, yes. I, I like to toast my PBJ. Oh, man. On, set, on the gang, on the dead homies. Yeah. Mm. Thank mm. you, sandwiches. Thank, Thank you for sponsoring you. Thank us. You so much, sandwiches. I was, you guys, that was just a solid promotion for sandwiches. Thank you. Really Thank was. you for that. Really was. Yeah. I can't believe how much money they gave us. Yeah, they gave right. us a lot of money. So much. <laughs> they gonna, didn't even hire me, but I still did it. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of sandwiches from this money, from this money guys. Like We're, we're going to be good. We got that sandwich money, bitch. You yeah. might not have to do podcasts anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Oh, I'm so oh, sick of these. Jesus. Um, artist- You've been listening. Artistic. Um, yeah, so like um, aliens. Am I right? Well, oh, wow. What, what do you think about aliens, man? I feel like they're all under six feet. Oh, they're like underground? No, like under six feet. Oh, like they're, they're shorties. Yeah. Like, Watching shorties? Like me. <laughs> any, any, anything under six feet, I'm pretty sure is an alien. I'm with you on the shorties, man. Yeah. Do you think any of the aliens are like hot? I'm I'm very sure that there's not like aliens. some like nice looking aliens. Like, I, I like I, I, all are. I really want to run into a green alien woman with nice flat sandwiches. Nice, butts. nice flat butts sandwiches. Yes. Okay, yeah. Sponsor continues. Mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm. but aliens, they they yeah. Oh, hot aliens. Hopefully, we get aliens this time. Yeah, you, know, nice. you know what? Let's let's start this terrible podcast. Let's spin some wheels. Yeah, we want to spin some let's wheels. Let's spin some. Let's spin some goddamn wheels. Let's, let's do it. Let's we do it. Get out the gen, John the wheel. Spin the wheel. Existential fiction. Existential fiction. Did I did I put that in there? You sure did. Do we have dictionaries on the show? Oh man. So okay. When I put that, I think I was thinking of like something existential, like like of reality, like fucking uh, what's it called? What's what's it called? Um, the top that spins. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, everything's a dream. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm following you so <laughs> well right uh, now. It's not Inception. City, it's Inception. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I was gonna let you get there, but then I gave up. Oh, yeah, that's like an in, ex, uh, existential, right? Is it? I don't know what that word I means. Yeah, is there, is no. everything existential? Like things exist? Existential? Existential? <laughs> I, I see you breaking it down. Can but. we go back to sandwiches? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are sandwiches but an existence <laughs> also, of... Also, I, I forgot know. what the word after existential was. <laughs> fiction. <laughs> fiction, so, fiction. So fiction is just like, I don't know. So it's wh- fake, but it's real? Yeah, I, guess. Wait, wait, what? I guess. I guess. <laughs> What is this like? What? I don't know. I don't know. We should go back to sandwiches. That was a good idea. <laughs> Seems like Vanilla Sky. I feel like <laughs> the re- it, it exists, but it's fiction. Should we? Yeah. Should we look this up? I feel like uh, maybe we should. Yeah. Like let's let's. let's I'm I'm opening my phone. Yeah, I'm I'll, typing in. I mean, I'll cut this out. So. Existential. <laughs> Why did you write this? Okay. Existential means exists uh, relating to existence. Officially relating to existence. Yep. Existential. All right. All right, Socrates. Fiction. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> That's not even Socrates. This is just a tease. Like there's there's no soccer in this. <laughs> this is just just tease. <laughs> what? Um, do, 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 what makes a story existential? Uh, but 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 simulate experiences that are too terrifying or dangerous to try out in real life. 
I don't know, guys. It's like a zombie game. <laughs> Why did you write this? I don't know. Feelings of despair. No, 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 no. Existential. What is an ex- existential? A bridge between philosophy and literature to throw the oh. individual into the world face of a metaphysical crisis which reveals mortal existence. Oh, man. You know what? Something about existence. This is this is a story about something with our reality and not reality. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's where that's what we're going. We're being real high art this episode. Oh, all right. I, yeah. I, I think. I get Welcome it. to the podcast. Autistic. <laughs> I feel autistic right about now. Like I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Let's spin that next wheel. Yeah, shall we'll we? spin the next wheel. Let's yeah, our next let's wheel. Move on. Let's spin it. <laughs> we spin it. Yeah, we spin it. Existential wheel. <laughs> this is so great. Post apocalyptic. Oh, oh snap! <laughs> Wait, so oh, the I setting... said zombies. Yeah, you did. I did say zombies. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so uh, post apocalypse. Post apocalyptic. We could just go zombies with this. Fallout. Um, fallout. I'm getting fallout. We could. Lives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's our next wheel? Our next wheel is the character job. Character job. Let's spin it. Spin it! Jobs. Mm-hmm. We have jobs in a post <laughs> We're about to. Let's go. Someone's. Hope it's not DJ. <laughs> He's a firefighter. Our main character is a firefighter in <laughs> the post apocalyptic future. <laughs> so this guy is a lone wolf going out putting out fires in a post apocalypse. He's like he's the last firefighter. The last he's the one. last firefighter. Still trying to do his job. Yeah. I literally feel like this is Fallout. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I'm picking up too. <laughs> yeah. Um all right, what's our next wheel? The flair. Flaw. Character flair. flaw. Okay. We all character got flaws. Flaws. We all have the <laughs> Man, thank you for that. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. He's obsessive. Obsessive? Like with putting out fires? Potentially. Like, oh, yeah. That is exactly what he's obsessed with. <laughs> he hates fires. He, he fucking hates anything hates fire. Fire. Oh, yes. shit. He hates fire. Nice. Um, artistic. Can I? Are you interested in playing this, like, this badass firefighter in the post apocalyptic future who's, Fuck yeah. who's obsessive about fires okay yeah so perfect. himself he can- <laughs> <laughs> yeah just how did you just, guys know just, everything <laughs> about me like you guys didn't even spin a wheel did you no no no, no. we're just we're just leaving <laughs> off, reading off a list right now what is our next wheel the antagonisty all right it's our second to last wheel Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. A dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> what? What have you done? Oh man. I wonder if this dinosaur breathes fire. I gotta stop letting you uh, write these. Nuckety, Nuc- 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 why are we still doing this, man? <laughs> what are we what's the what's the end goal here? Uh aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the main antagonist is a dinosaur. Um it's a firefighter in the post-apocalyptic world. This is something, this this genre is something to do with existence, I guess. And uh, Mink, and he's obsessive about fires. So, um, is this, okay, guys, uh-huh. is this world constantly on fire? Like, is this, is this, is this, is this, is this <laughs> there's no peace. Is it? No justice. So, like, maybe there's like, I'm thinking there's like, the over the world is overrun by these bandits called the fire starters <laughs> nice. who are literally like just this. starting fires that's all they yang. do they ended the world like you got a guy named they maxi maxi and him and the fire starters like yeah buddy we're going to start a fire <laughs> why why are they why are they talking like this <laughs> That's how we talk in the post-apocalyptic <laughs> future, man. It's just the accent. I, nice. I, I don't like it unless it's on fire. <laughs> I hate fires. You got any matches? Just kidding. I got my own. Yep. And like this opening scene is just straight up like like this family's trying to go to sleep and then they get a knock on the door and Maxie and them uh, Maxie and them are at the door. It's like, hello, who who are you? I'm here to start a fire. Kicks her out the way. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> Better go. This place is gonna light up. Uh, him and the crew are just li- like pouring gasoline Woo! all over it, everything. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I love fire. <laughs> light him up. I, f- I smell smoke. Okay, yeah. So See upstairs. So, so yeah, is, what's what's your character's name? Uh, um, Axel. Oh, I like Axel. No, no, <laughs> no. I feel like it needs to be like because he hates fires. Yeah, his name should be like. Andy Arson. Oh. Wow. Okay. I like that. 
so, Andy Orson. So Andy is is smelling this. He's he's upstairs and he's hearing his like wife and child uh, crying. He's starting to smell smoke. What does he do? He gets up mm-hmm. immediately, and then he's just like confused because he hates fires. <laughs> I fucking hate fire. <laughs> so why am I smelling smoke? I hate smoke. He rushes downstairs, you know, still in his pajamas. <laughs> And uh, uh, him, the wife and, and the kid are like not there anymore, but he sees uh, Maxi uh, turned around, like he's at the door and he sees all this smoke, this fire he just started in his own home. And he turns around and uh, only thing he says is, yee-haw. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? What, 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 are, what, what is why, that? Why are you screaming in my home and lighting smoke? Uh, you know... <sighs> Everything's better when it's on fire. Don't Am you, I right? Don't Every, you think? And he, as he says that, he lights a match and and, and he and he throws it on, no. a, on one more pile. Yeah, one more pile of books and like a like gasoline. He throws it and just just burns everything. You, uh, your character, what's his name? Andy. Andy. Andy, Andy Arson. Arson. Uh He he recoils like from the explosion. Half his face gets freaking melted off. Oh, um, and he, he takes some serious damage from it. A critical damage. Uh, yeah. And so like fast forward to like a day later in the morning, you're like Andy's waking up from this rubble. And like, what what is he doing? What is he seeing? He, wait, wait, wait. He wakes up because the ground is shaking. Mm. Ooh. Right. And I see a fucking T-Rex. And it just makes me more angry. So now <laughs> I hate smoke and dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Fuck these dinosaurs. Yeah. So I wake up from the shaking. Yeah. Yeah. You look you look up to see the dinosaur and what's and what's riding on the dinosaur is Maxi. This oh. is the dinosaur fire starter gang. Okay. Yeah. And like <laughs> so so you're seeing them ride off, right? And you're still injured. There's not much that Andy can do. And but we're gonna we're gonna jump into like this narration now where we just see this post apocalyptic world. Um, and fire and smoke and brimstone. There's no sun. Like the, it's, it's just a hellscape it's of a world. Orange, everything. Yeah, just, exactly. It's always orange. Exactly. They got that Middle East filter on yeah. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And we we jump into this uh, narration of just like we don't have the year. The year is 2000 XX. Ooh, <laughs> mysterious. The dinosaur fire starter gang has ravaged the world, turning everything into smoke and ash. The DFSG. <laughs> Only one man can stand against them. Andy Arson lost his family and his home to fires and dinosaurs. And now he alone <laughs> is the last firefighter. Thoughts? I like it. How, how am I putting fires out? Um, You know, that's a good question. I think he just has an axe and he just hits them until they stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he is a firefighter, so right. he doesn't need water. I, to, right. So I just literally fight yeah. fire. Yeah. With kung fu. With kung fu. With axe fu. Axe fu. What is, what is what does he look like? He looks like he hates smoke. So <laughs> <laughs> distinct look right there. Yeah. So every time he like smells it, he like his whole face becomes scrunched. Oh. So I'm imagining a nice man who kind of resembles Deadpool because he was burned halfway by fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? That did happen. That, that, that definitely happened. That is canny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's just going to look like a man with a half-burned tank top, <laughs> <laughs> a half-burned face, and walks around with one shoe. So as a reminder that half of him is missing at all times. Mm. You know? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, and like he has that like that ha- half burned face too, so crispy. It's crispy. crispy. Does he wear a mask on on top of that, or is he just just he just looks badass with this? No, scar? everybody wears a mask if you're burned. You okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> at, at least half. Only half a mask. mask. Yeah, yeah. Okay, half so he's doing mask. the Phantom of the Opera thing a little bit, but yeah. he's, he's all right. All right, I got you. So we cut to like like we're gonna say ten years later. Um, we're in the town of after vigorous training of fighting fires. Yeah. So now, okay, let's get more. He's a little bulked. You know, Ooh. he's strong. Yeah. Because he can literally whoop Yoked fire's ass. Up yeah. Like an yeah. Egg. yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, there's another town. We're at we're at Port Port Town uh come on, I need Crispy. I need a name. Yeah, the town of Crispy. The town this of is Crispy. This is Crispy Town. Crispy and like down. and like, you know, it's one of those towns Crispy that that's on the port, like near the water that hasn't been ravaged yet. But um 
we got we got this character um um Zeke. Did I use, did we use Zeke before? No. Okay. So we got Zeke, you know, he's a barista and he's Wait, you know yeah. Zeke Zeke's a barista? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. In the, in the post-apocalyptic. Nice. Yeah. Okay. He's like, you know, like there's swill, there's uh moonshine, <laughs> there's dirty water and coffee. So <laughs> the only thing nice. Yeah. And so he's, you know, he's just he's he's making some drinks for people. And, uh, you know, uh, one of the, the townspeople are all like really just screwed up, you know, and they got rags or wearing rags, but they're still coming in for their coffee, you know, at Zeke's. Oh, Zeke's, yeah. They Zeke's, can't, they yeah. can't, don't even talk to them until they get their coffee. Yeah. So this is in Washington. <laughs> I mean, no, we, we've used too much Washington. Oh, okay. This, this one is expressly in California. California? <laughs> California. Yeah. Okay. We're on the, we're on the base side. Yeah. And, um, I feel like Arizona. Arizona? I feel like Arizona. Arizona? Do I think? Dry. It's the true, orange. true. Yeah. So, like, is there, is there water in Arizona? I, I think. It's pools. Yeah. All right. There is the desert. Crispy so. is next to a pool. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in Arizona. We're in Arizona. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, so one of the town folks says, "Crispy Arizona." Don't even get me started, Zeke. Unless I had my, unless I had my morning coffee. Don't even fucking talk to me, Zeke. <laughs> fucking Zeke. Just make the fucking coffee. <laughs> Zeke's like, "Hey, man, I'm just doing." <clears throat> Hey, I'm just doing what I can, guys. Like I just I make it here, sit here, making this coffee. The little society's burned down. <laughs> I'm just, I, I just doing what I can. And and uh, one of the town elder comes. You know, he's an older guy. He's like, <gasps> we appreciate everything you do. I'm Zeke. very old. I'm very old. <laughs> he's and always I'm, talking about how old he is. <laughs> Did you know that I am? Yes, yes, I. Yeah. I, I know you're old. Yeah. Do you 142. want 142? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want your coffee? I'll have a little swizz. I could die a little sooner. <laughs> Put some moonshine in it, please. <laughs> um, and then someone busts through the doors, and it's, uh, it's a little boy. Uh, one of them, extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> uh, dinosaurs are coming. The dinosaur fire, the fire starter gang is here. The DFSG. <laughs> everyone, everyone, fucking like, <laughs> oh shit! Like, they, they, like these guys are infamous, man. They're like this, this literally ravaged the whole world. Uh, Zeke's like, shit, uh, uh, man, like, I just get him away from me. Everybody get out, get out, get out. And they're like, no, 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 we're going to stay in here. We're going to stay in like, we, coffee. yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we got to have our coffee. I can't, fu- don't even fucking talk to me until I have my coffee. <laughs> in the far, far corner is, um, someone drinking a hooded cloaked figure and he puts down, he just slams his coffee down and, uh, says, someone say dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, like the dinosaurs are, dinosaur fire starter, fire starter gang is coming. I've been waiting 10 years for this. Oh, he flips around and he reveals like this, this fucking like strapped axe to his waist side. And he's just, he's like super jacked and he's got like this mask. He looks actually pretty cool. He looks bad the fuck yeah, ass. Andy I'm, Arson. I, I am bad the fuck ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're a badass, mister. He looks like axe cop, but wait, he's not wait, a cop. Wait, wait, wait. The axe needs a name. Oh. Uh, Axe needs a name. It's the name of his daughter, <laughs> or something. I don't know. Axela. Axela. <laughs> Axela. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, how are you going to fight them without any water? We don't have any water here. No, you confuse me with firefighter. I'm an actual firefighter. He, he's and as soon as he says that, he pushes people out of the way. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Move. Like, and they just all kind of look on, and he and he exits. Zeke's a little curious because, like, he's really avoidant. Of, of danger his whole life, but he, he's, oh, I don't want to part of this. Yeah, but he's seeing this guy and he's like, I got to see what's happening. So they go outside and, um, this isn't like the big much, this isn't Maxi. This is like a off brand, like dinosaur fire started game. We're talking like Tyrannosaurus, not Tyrannosaurus. This is a, this is like one of them stegosauruses, you know oh, what I'm saying? Shit, not a stegosaurus. You know? And, uh, stegosaurus. Yeah. And like they're, uh, you know, they're right at the entrance of the town and the elder is already there. He's like, leave us. <laughs> We want, we want nothing to do with you. I'm so old. You don't, and then someone jumps down. Um, Wait, every, t- yeah. every time he says something, he's like, back in my day. <laughs> you know what old I am? <laughs> Listen, old man. I don't know. I got to get a different voice here. Um, actually, can you play? Can you play this uh, this bandit leader? He's he's a, he's going to be, uh, his name is, um, is Kirby. Kirby? Yep. Okay. 
L- listen, old man, we came for trouble, and that's what we're, we're leaving with it. You we, son of a bitch. We've been a peaceful town here at Crispy Town, and we were just a few. A few, please burn something else. Not our innocence, not our not our town. I'm so old. That, w- that was deep. Peaceful, huh? <laughs> not no more. No more. It's about to be. It's about to be chaos in this bitch. As soon as he says that, um, uh, him and the and like about three or four other guys uh, pull these hoses down from this uh, oh, stegosaurus uh, hoses. Oh, I thought oh. you said something else. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I like those. <laughs> Pulls these hose down, and uh, you would think these would be water hoses. Nah, man, these are fire hoses. Oh my god, I yeah. hate fire. And. Um, you know, they're coming out to the front and like they're about to like they just kind of demonstrate a little bit. They turn on for a moment, goes and they say shoots out yeah, fire. Yeah, light it up. And they're like, Oh, the town people are scared. Oh. And uh what does Kirby say before he starts lighting them up? It's about to be extra crispy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make this we're gonna rename this town. Extra crispy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Um, so they're about to they're about to do this, and then from the shadow, fucking, fucking comes a, a an axe, right? It's like, <laughs> and it, it's cutting like a battering. It's cutting these hoses nice. one by one. <laughs> And they're like, what the hell, man? What the hell's going on? And then uh, uh, the, oh, axe, the axe loops around, and, it, and he catches it with one hand, um, and he takes off the hood. And you get a, a good view of Andy Arson. Who the hell are you? I'm Andy Arson. And I hate fire. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he says that, they they just go in for a fight sequence, and they get their ass handed to them. Man, like he has an axe. He has an so, axe. Like they're fighting him with like you know some one person tries to shoot him, but he deflects it with the axe handle, and he just like he just he's going to work. He's like cutting off like shins. He's like axe on the go. <laughs> it's like a pokeball. <laughs> yeah. What, what's like one of what's like what's his special move? What what's his special one of his special moves that he does on one? these guys um one guy tries to swing at me Mm -hmm. and he like he can cut off singular fingers at a time oh even when they're balled up in a fist that's crazy whoa like with his axe with his axe all right so kirby goes in for a punch and and he uh he does that he he gets his axe and with one just single strike, he cuts off the fingers from his hand. Yeah. This, is, this is a, this is a. I, I let him keep his pinky thumb. I mean, oh pinky dang! Finger, though. We get a good like view of him. He's like, ah! You see his hand, and it's all bloody nubs except his pinky. Why did you leave the pinky? He's like, because you got to show some class. <laughs> show some class. So like these guys are like, uh, retreat, retreat! Come on, Kirby, let's get out of here. And what does what does Kirby do? Kirby 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 grabs the the end of the hose that he cut off, and he throws it uh, one end of it around his truck, and he says, "Drive off, drive off, <laughs> drive, he's, drive, drive off, drive off." <laughs> and as they're driving off, Andy Arson he like he kills at least three of the dinosaurs. Oh damn! You know? Yeah, because I also hate dinosaurs. Oh dang! I hate he does dinosaurs, hate dinosaurs too. Dang! Dang! And okay. so all only one left is. Pinky Man, Maxi, or yep, uh, uh, Kirby. Uh, Kirby. Kirby, Kirby, yeah. So Kirby's the only one left. Yep. And I tell Kirby, make sure all your gang knows about this. Tell them Andy Arson is here with a vengeance. Ooh. You, you got it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell everybody. Everybody. I'll tell them all. I hate smoke. <laughs> just, just don't, just don't. Just don't cut my fingers off. <laughs> you might want to wrap that up. Um, so the whole town, like, uh, uh, cheers. They're like, yeah, woo! Um, and uh, one of the the ladies, you know, comes up to him, and her name is is Linda. <laughs> She's like, wow, you saved the town. You're amazing. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> he just looks at her, and she says, uh, would you like to come into town? We can we could take care of you for a while, uh, we can we can help you. He's like, L- listen, Linda. Um, 
I know, I know you're trying to be kind, but I'm kind of a loner. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Wolf. I'm alone. Wolf. Linda. Yeah, there comes. Uh, well, everybody could use a little rest and relaxation. I should know because I'm very old. Everyone knows <laughs> how old you are. Come, come to the end and let us celebrate your accomplishments, young man. This is only the beginning. <laughs> dum dum. You walk to each other uh, uh, into town. Um, we're going to take a short little break right there and, and see where this, this terrible story unfolds. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. You're welcome. Cut! 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 We're back and we got another sponsor. We do. We Let's do. Spin that wheel. We spinning it. Spin it. We spinning it. Oh, yeah, it says we spinning it. Spin it. We spinning it. Spin, spin the wheel. Walks. This podcast is sponsored by Walks. You know, that means getting your ass up and actually using your legs. Yeah, I'll be honest, guys. I don't I don't really do that enough. I don't, I, I don't think I do. I don't I'm, think, you know me neither? Yeah, I don't think I've, I've ever taken a walk. Yeah. I, I don't enjoy standing, so walking is pretty much Man, I, I, I pretty much crawl to the bathroom at the time. You know, I roll. But we encourage walks. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And they pay us a lot of money to tell you that, so. Yeah. <laughs> Lots. Uh, yeah, I, I can't talk enough about how much I love walks. That um, I don't take. But uh, I like e walks. Mm-hmm. I like walkthroughs. Yeah, facts. Those are good. On yeah. a Zoom call. Yeah, yeah those yeah. are great. Those are great. Totally. Um, you know, but I guess the doctors uh, recommend walks that it's like good for like cardio and your heart and stuff. Um, I I don't think so, but. <laughs> You know, I don't probably, think that's true. probably yeah. listen to your doctors, yeah. I guess. You know, have you guys ever went on a really long walk before? No, I have. I'm yeah. Nervous. yeah, yeah. Uh, I walked really far one time. Mm. It wasn't, it was not worth it. Oh, you know what? Mm. You know what? I take that back. It was worth it because it was at Comic Con. Oh, there oh, we go. Nice. That'll do it. And I walked see, for hours. I would walk 500 miles, mm. then I would, and walk I would walk 500 more. 500 more. Wow. <laughs> Dead at the Damn, you really like walks, man. Dead at the Here's here's a dead question. Dead. Do you like walks or running more? Um, I like light prances. Mm. You know, like I like frying pans more than walks. Mm. Oh nice. Would but you they, walk with a frying pan? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, this is a really just engaging, amazing sponsorship <laughs> here. And and I do want to just thank us you thank guys are once again. <laughs> want to thank Walks once again for sponsoring us. Hello Walks, clearly. <laughs> thank you, Walks. Thank, thank you, Walks. Walks. Oh, God damn it. Thank We're you, Walks. Just oh, love you so much. Oh, yeah. All right. Recap. <laughs> <laughs> recap. We got Andy Arson. You know, he was tragically uh you know harmed by the dinosaur fire starter gang who set his life ablaze mm-hmm. and now Andy Arson is on a vengeance streak to destroy all fires not with water but with his handy axe Axel so he's just saved the town of Crispy from the fire starter gang from being uh, extra crispy yeah like 10 years <laughs> later and uh you know he he really did use that axe to stop fight fires I guess cuz people are losing fingers and limbs and Losing a lot of blood, but, um, you know, like the town has been saved and they just welcomed him back in the inn. And so that's where we're at right now. I know we're, we're talking about existential fiction here as our genre. So I'm going to try something. Welcome. What are you going to do? Yeah, this is interesting. Right. Cut to a nurse, right? Coming to, uh, knocking on a door and, uh, walking into a room. This is like kind of like a white hallway. And we get into this room. It's like a, a hospital room, and all we see is a is a is a um, a bed, an empty bed, and a window. And she says, "Oh God damn it, not again, not again." Uh oh. <sighs> um, we're cutting back to uh, the inn of Crispy Town. We got the elder. We got Linda. We got Zeke. We got um, Andy Arson and like a couple other stragglers there. We just can't tell you how thankful we are for you saving the town. We really thought we were toast. <laughs> no, I brought butter to this party. 
You sure did serve up those dinosaur fire starter gangs on some light toast and butter there, Andy. With an avocado or two. I'm so old. <laughs> I'm so old. Oh, God, you're old. <laughs> Linda, um, Linda says, you know, if there's just anything we can do for you, just let us know. You know, we want to we wanna help. Oh, you smell like lilacs. I remember lilacs. <laughs> I was thinking lilacs, too. That's funny. <laughs> That's Linda. Fu- I was just taking a, a bath in lilacs, actually. That's funny you said that. <laughs> I remember lilacs 10 years ago. You don't see those very much often. No. Zeke, uh, Zeke, uh. Not in Arizona either. No. Nah. Zeke, uh, kind of is, is, is watching the, the people kind of talk to him and he, and he says, uh, uh hey, um, <clears throat> Andy, you, uh, you want some coffee? I hate smoke. Make sure it's iced. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you Why don't you come over here to the bar? Uh, you know, uh, come talk to me for a little bit. Sure. <laughs> and the elder says, "We'll be here." You're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, well, you're in a wheelchair, so I don't expect you to. Do that. <laughs> Zeke says, uh, "So, how how you doing there, bud? I'm good. How are you? Uh, what is your name, sir? Uh, it is Zeke. Zeke. Hmm. Mm. Uh, how you feeling? Like I hate smoke." <laughs> Um, That's all they can think about is how much he fucking hates smoke and fire. I'm so obsessed. Have you have you thought about why you, maybe you hate smoke so much? Oh, I could tell you, but you would hate smoke as much as I did too. Um, Zeke looks around. No one's looking at them right now. He says, "Listen, uh, Andy, go to this room when you have a moment, and uh, there's something we need to talk about." Okay, he, put, he slides him a paper, and it has a room number. Come to this address and. Uh, don't leave town until you come to this. Is until this, you come to this room. Is this a four or seven? <laughs> That's a four. Okay. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you there in a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I gotta help these other customers. Zeke, where's our drinks at, man? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Just down. <laughs> so, it's one of those type of places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we spin that topic wheel? Want to spin that topic wheel? <laughs> yeah. Spin it. <laughs> Layoffs. Layoffs. Oh, interesting. Okay. Shoot. What do I want to do with this? Is he going to lose his job? Um, okay. So we're going to cut to the bedroom, right? It's been some time. And um, Andy comes to this door. He knocks on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Zeke opens the door and says, come in. It's just a normal bedroom um, in this inn. And he says, uh, hey, have a seat. Um, we got a lot to talk about. <clears throat> Where should I begin? Um, At the start. That's usually a good place. At the start, I, I'm not sure if you can handle it, but I can try. Uh, I'm just trying. Do you think you can bear with me? I'm, I'm here. Okay. Um, Andy, uh, this, is, um, this is all in your head, man. What? <laughs> um, so you're, you're, at, you're at a facility, you know, for the mentally unwell. Um, I'm Dr. Zeke, and um, we've been trying to kind of help you break out of this um, scenario that you've been playing in your head. Um, you lost your family in a fire. And since then you've, you put on this, this, um, persona of Andy Arson, who says he hates smoke and fire and is hurting people. Um, the only reason I'm telling you this is because I was recently laid off. Um, <laughs> I'm no longer going to be working with you. And I just, I want to see if maybe I could just talk to you one on one and see if we can break you out of this, um, whatever's going on. Uh, a- Andy, you with me? I, I, I'm so confused. I uh, know, I know, I hate smoke. Uh, all right, a- Andy, Andy, <laughs> Andy. How about this? I, I just, I fucking know it, Andy. Okay, let me put it this way. You, you, you know those dinosaurs? You see the di- dinosaur fire starter gang? Yeah, yeah, I hate them. Those are those are police. the The dinosaurs are cop cars, or medical, or it's or sometimes it's our vehicles. Uh, we come to find you when you've ex- escaped the facility. And we're not starting fires, Andy. We're just trying to bring you back with us. And uh, usually... Still over here dropping motherfucking bombs. <laughs> yeah, me, me, what, what, me and, me and Axela have cut off more hands. Axela was the name of your daughter, and I'm really sorry you lost her. <laughs> you really <laughs> named Axela. <laughs> Andy, I, I don't know how else I can break it to you. Like, we've been trying this for a couple years Everyone else you see here is some of them are made up, some of them are, are real, and get another knock at the door. Oh, crap. Um, can you can you hold on a second, Andy? Zeke, 
opens the door and he gets freaking shot in the head. Like, oh my god! It's the dinosaur gang. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Axla? Um, and uh, you know, this time it's Maxi. You know, and he's got a little raptor with him, and he says, "Long time no see. If it ain't." Andy Austin. You mother lover. <laughs> Listen, we could do this the easy way or the hard way. You I choose hard every time. <laughs> Stay, uh, uh, what's, what's that raptor's name? Uh, but, uh, 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 we'll call it like Toast. 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 <laughs> rip, rip his head off. Toast and r- Toast the raptor lunges for, lunges for Andy. What, yes. is, what does he do? What Andy he rolls do? out of the way. Oh, nice. And then you dirty piece of toast. <laughs> Gonna scrape off the burnt parts, you motherfucker. Yeah, as he says that, you know, the, the raptor was waiting for him to say that one liner, but uh, as he said it, he, he freaking like, like cuts off the tendon of like the leg yes. of the, of the raptor leg and it goes, Wah! Toast, no! What did you do to Toast? Toast, I never did nothing to you. Toast is out. Like he got, Toast got hit a little bit and then she's just kind of whimpering and in the corner now. And Andy's like, you're next. Maxie's like, shit, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. He's like, it's always him and him and uh uh Toast are running now. They're 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 trying to escape this. Toast this, is limping. Toast yeah. is limping away. Yeah, Toast is limping away. I throw my axe. Yeah. And then Maxie somehow just ducks mm-hmm. because of an obstruction. Mm. And I still hit Toast. Oh, Toast is dead. Toast is dead. Toast Damn. right in the fucking jugular. Damn. Okay. Dude, raptor jugular. So right. Uh. So so toast is is dead. And but Maxie gets away. Um. Fuck. Andy goes down to uh. And uh disclaimer: No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. Well, dinosaur. No, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> no animals were hurt in the making of this podcast. But as Andy's going down to get his axe, he gets just the briefest glimpse of a dog where the raptor is. Just it's just very glimpsed, like just just for a moment, he he sees that he's pulling an axe from a dog. Oh no! What what, what was that? That was weird. <laughs> it's just weird. Some in that coffee. <laughs> Anyways, um, so so things are getting kind of crazy. Um, Andy comes downstairs. And there's just hubbubaloo going on. Linda's like, the Firestarter gang are here. They tried to kill you. They're trying to kill you while you're you're up there talking to Zeke. No, I took care of one of the dinosaurs. You have to kill them all, Andy. You kill, gotta kill all of them. <laughs> kill all the Firestarter gang. They're trying to kill every. They're trying to ruin everything. How could that go wrong? I was made for this. <laughs> I spent ten years training. Don't worry, Linda. Your uh, wonderful lilac smell. <laughs> <laughs> oh shucks, thank you. The elder says, uh, comes over to him and says, <laughs> "Are you sh- are you sure you just don't want to rest a little longer? The Firestarter gang is gone. You don't have to worry about There's them. There's no time for rest. The time is now, and you're gonna need a new coffee guy." <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Zeke? He lost his physique. Uh, he looks at Linda. Oh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I gotta, um, I'll be back. Oh, I gotta handle this situation. I'm so old. He, uh, he, he walks away. He walks a little faster than he, he was putting he on. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So what does Andy do? Andy then picks up clues. He starts talking to the, um, the town. Mm, trying yeah. to figure out which way they went. Yeah. And then, uh. You seen this raptor? <laughs> 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 yeah. And then uh he gives a clue. He sees a uh, a footprint. Mm. And they're heading south. Okay. This is a dinosaur footprint? It is a dinosaur footprint. Is okay. it crooked? Is it what? Is it crooked? They're all crooked. It's a uh, dinosaur footprint. Oh, okay. Um so <laughs> we've reached the fire the dinosaur fire starter gang headquarters and it's like a giant facility like with barbed wire gates and like steel doors and um it smells like smoke. It's, it does smell like, it smells like, like a lot of tons smoke. Tons and tons of smoke coming oh, from yeah. the camp. Yeah, there's like actually a fire just coming from, like, the, actually, there's there's like some pipes at the top of it, and just, and just smoke gushing. is coming. Yeah, yeah. it's like producing the smoke. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, Maxie's at the very top yelling, hey, 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 <laughs> you come here to die? Hey. I came here with vengeance. <laughs> you can't do much down there. We got guns, and they will like about like four or five other people come with guns, and they and they they point him out and he says, "Turn yourself in, or you're gonna die today!" Yeah, 
I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, light him up in three, and then someone else comes. Um, it's uh, the elder. He's he's uh, he, he's made it trailing him. He says, "Oh, hold on, hold on, please wait, wait." Um, so, uh, he turns to Andy. Andy, uh, he's a little <clears throat> out of breath. <laughs> Uh, listen, Andy. Um, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm, uh, I, I'm. You're in a lot of danger right now. Please, ju- please, just listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm the general man. I'm the manager of this hospital. I face that you're danger in. head on. Listen, this isn't real. You don't, don't. This is the police you're provoking right now. Don't. They you're have guns. Them, aren't you? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're one of the, the dinosaur fire gang. No, Andy. Yes. I'm. I'm You're trying, I'm trying, to, trying trick to me. I'm trying to help you. No. Vengeance. <laughs> he freaking like move. This is your last warning. He like cuts him. He like lobs the entire like top half of him off. And just gets cut in one. <laughs> this is your final warning. <laughs> oh! He's already gone. He's already gone. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you again. Maxie, Get out of my way. Maxie says, light him up! And they all, you know, they're about, they're getting their guns ready and they're, they're about to do fire and squad on Andy. Uh, what does he do? He deflects all the bullets. You gave him that power. Mm, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Spins it in a circle. Yeah, yeah. Deflecting all of the bullets coming so, his way. So here's, here's what's going to happen, all right? <laughs> <laughs> So you gonna break the game? <laughs> all the bullets are flying towards him, and of course, like he's 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 freaking <laughs> he's in a circle. He's he's deflecting all those bullets, Excellent. and some of them are just like ricocheting back to the other people, and they're like falling like flies. And Maxie's like the only one who's like still alive, and he sees him, and uh, and uh, Ars- uh, Andy Arson says, "You're going down, right?" Like, what does he say to, to Maxie? I'm gonna get you, sucker. <laughs> yep. As soon as he says that, he takes uh, he takes a step forward and he just falls. <laughs> he just face plants, and now he's back in reality, which is him in in front of a police station, middle of the night, full of bullets. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he didn't do- he didn't deflect any of that. Okay, he was just spinning a broomstick. <laughs> yeah, <spinning> a broomstick. <laughs> Not uh, even good, like not really even good sloppy. at all. Just, just like yeah. <laughs> two full rotations. Yeah. So so Matt, so Andy can finally see the reality that he he's he's slowly dying. He's you know he's the world is not what he thought it was. Like he's he's somewhere in the year two thousands, two thousand six, not twenty xx two thousand two thousand six. Yeah, two thousand six. And as he's in the past, as he's gasping for air, he looks over. He sees uh, the the. Elder, who was the general manager, is like is, he's also been killed. He's 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 you know he's dead already. Uh, Maxi comes down, and uh, Maxi isn't a police officer. He's actually the the person in charge of your of him. Yeah. yeah, the counselor basically. Yeah, and uh, and he, he has tears in his eyes. He's like Andy, I'm so sorry. I was I was trying to help, man. I was I was trying to just I was trying to play in this. In this scenario with you, and you just you just kept you just it just got out of hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, he just. I didn't. I didn't. I don't want you to better weight of lighting your own family on fire, <laughs> of you being the cause. I was just. I was trying to. I was trying shock therapy. You know, like just reliving that moment you went through. I was hoping maybe it would it would spark something. You know, and and you'd finally see reality. And his last words are, "I hate sparks." <laughs> Uh, I hate spark. <laughs> no! <laughs> and it's just, it's like him from a bird's eye view, and it like shoots up. Yep. Um, cut to like a fade from black to the gravestone says Andy Arson, and it's a uh, it's Maxi and um, Linda was real. Linda's there. He says um, she smells like cream. She soda. smells like cream soda, actually. <laughs> and uh, they're looking at his grave, and he, and he says, "I really, I really screwed this up." <laughs> <laughs> Linda says, "You think? You think?" Oh, <laughs> I really lost control of that situation. <laughs> I really thought like a post-apocalyptic, you know, shock therapy, killing your family in a fire thing was going to do it, but um, yeah, <sighs> apparently makes you violent. You know, Andy Arson wasn't even his real name. His name was just Andy. Peterson, Andy, Andy Peterson was Andy Clyde Peterson, <laughs> Andy Clyde Peterson, and you, 
you were, Linda, were you trying to like be his like love interest or something? I don't know. I was just trying things. I was, I, just, I was just bored. I was bored. <laughs> so what now? Oh, now I guess we go to jail. <laughs> they look over and they see like a police. They're handcuffed and they're like, is that, <clears throat> have you paid your respects? Yeah. Yeah. There's, I feel like there's something Andy would say here. What would Andy say? I hate smoke. Ah, yes. I hate smoke. I hate Get smoke. over here. He <laughs> yanks him and Linda goes into That's the end. That's the end of That's this. That's the end. We fucking so, did it, you guys. We did it. fucking we did, did it. it. That was definitely That's the worst good. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was the exodus? What? Who? We stayed true. Uh, we stayed true. The, the, the existence of Andy Arson was not real, I guess. That's that's the, what I was going for, I guess. Yeah. That's the only thing I could think of. So it was a dream. It was all a dream. <laughs> no. Not really, but... <laughs> not really a dream, but... A hallucination. Oh, like, what excellent writing. That guys, was. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it definitely was not good. I want to thank Artistic for being here, contributing to this story today. Thank you so much, very Artistic. Sweet of you, man. Oh, man, I tried, man. Uh, do you have any plugs for us, Artistic? A shout out to me. Yeah. You know, for being Artistic. Shout out to Artistic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I do uh, live review shows every Tuesday, 6 p.m. ish, you know. So I, tonight, if you're hearing this uh, when it comes out, like. Right when it comes out. Yeah, look, yeah, whenever you hear this from early now bird. On, yeah, you just look for it. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Shout out to I Am Haiti Studios. We do, we uh, get podcasts going for you. Um, Sad Boy Summer, the EP dropped in August, so Ooh. check that out. All platforms, you know, shout out to life. Shout out to walks and sandwiches <laughs> at the same time. Sandwich walks. Yeah. Sandwich walks. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank, thank you again, Artistic. You're, this is your, you were Andy Arson. You're a real sweet you're, kid. You're, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Nuck, any plugs for us? Yeah, man. Um, plug the show, you know. Uh, DNG POD on everything. Come follow us. Uh, if you want to draw a picture of your favorite scene from any of the episodes or anything like that, just send that motherfucker on in to definitely not good podcast at gmail.com. You know, hook it up. We'll, we'll put you, we'll put you down and we'll tag you in it. Uh, so you get your little credit, you know, you know what I mean? If you, if you are, if you are artists, you want, you want a little, a little bit of street cred with the homies. That's us. So, you know, just send, send it, <laughs> send it all in. Uh, if you need beats or studio time and me up, I'm, uh, at N-U-Q-A-D-Y on everything. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, nice. Artistic, do you have any last words for our listeners? Um, any, anything to take from this, um, Really tragic tale. <laughs> don't, <laughs> just told. don't light your family on fire. Yeah, on I know that's good advice. Purpose, I know? like that advice. Yeah. Did, did do you think Andy finally saw the light at the end? No, no, no. He was delusional all the he way. He was. He was completely delusional. He was obsessive, very obsessive. But he loved his hate filled world. So yeah, he had a pretty cool world. He had a pretty cool setup. I wonder where the dinosaurs came in in his mind though. Mm. Why, why were they there? I he still just, love dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah. His daughter loved His dinosaurs. Daughter, okay. Yep. That was her mm-hmm. favorite toy was a dinosaur. Yep. Name Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> Maxi Pads. Max. Oh, gross. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, that's it. Bye. Bye. The fuck out of here. Adios. Definitely not good. We did it, guys. <laughs> Lee. That story was terrible.